The Five Shapes Many Emotions lesson works with a very limited palette to encourage inventive choice making. Some artists will enjoy the challenge of these limitations and others will find it frustrating. It's okay to challenge kids to work outside their comfort zone and explore tools they would not ordinarily gravitate to. Here are some suggestions to support kids in meeting this challenge. Take time to reflect about the process. Let kids honestly reflect on whether or not they enjoyed working this way. It is valuable for artists to discover and articulate how they like or don't like to work. Feelings of frustration are a natural part of the artistic process, and acknowledging them through reflection can help young artists make empowered decisions about how they want to meet and move through these challenges. Here's an example of how you might reflect on the process after the kids have independent art making time to create with the five shapes. Wiggle your body if you made a lopsided or asymmetrical face. Wiggle your body if you made a very even or symmetrical face. Wiggle your body if you layered shapes together to make other shapes. Wiggle your body if you made new shapes with the spaces between shapes. Wiggle your body if you change the expression on your face by changing the direction of the shapes. Wiggle your body if you found other cool things to do with the shapes. Wiggle your body if you wish that there were different shapes or more kinds of shapes. Wiggle your body if you wanted to use scissors to cut your own shapes. Wiggle your body if you had an idea in your mind for the kind of face you wanted to make and you tried to figure out how to do it with all the shapes. Wiggle your body if you got ideas for what kind of face to make by playing with the shapes. Wiggle your body if you got ideas from your friends for how to use the shapes. I'm noticing that in our class, we have artists who loved figuring out how to work with only five shapes and other artists who wanted to make more shapes or who wanted to make their own shapes. Artists work in different ways. After your kids reflect, assess. What did you learn about the artists in your room? Would they benefit from more of this kind of challenge? Or should you loosen or change the limitations in future sessions? Consider developing the work by adding detail using a different limited set of tools in each session. For example, once your students have created faces with just five shapes, create hair in a variety of colors with strips of construction paper. or add additional detail to the faces using torn paper collage. Your class could continue to develop their work by exploring textured collage materials to create bodies and costumes. Many artists will experience overwhelm if presented with too many options all at once. By focusing on a limited set of tools in each lesson, young artists learn about each one deeply.